This is the remnant of a stinger ball grenade. We gathered it on H and 17th Street minutes after U.S. Park Police and U.S. Secret Service swept protesters off that intersection. At first glance, it looks like the standard flashbang grenades D.C. Metropolitan Police used on protesters Sunday afternoon in other parts of the district. We matched the OC on the label with this manufacturer's catalog for the Stinger Ball grenade, and we showed the grenade casing we found Monday to former bomb disposal expert Brian Kastner, now with Amnesty International. Seeing this same OC, what do you believe actually was in this container, this Stinger Ball? That would be the pepper spray version along with the flash and along with uh, the small rubber bullets chunks that are going to, um, you know, hit anybody that happens to be there. The rubber pellets that come out of this, could it harm somebody? Oh, absolutely. I mean, think, think about the force it takes to take that rubber ball and to have broken it apart. And of course, the problem with that is there's no target. It could ha hit anyone, it could hit anywhere, it could hit you in the eye or the throat. Uh, there's no way for the police to be um, really targeted and, and trying to like, you know, you know, focus on either a specific person or a specific action. In addition to small rubber pellets, the stinger ball also contained a natural gas that causes tears and severe coughing. Along with the stinger ball, we also found artificial CS gas containers at the same location. Law enforcement agencies call CS tear gas. Dr. Renit Mashori is a Georgetown University professor of family medicine. We've heard stories in the U.S. of people who've lost their vision because one of these types of uh, canisters or, um, or pellets um, hit their eye. So they're very dangerous. No police agency present at Lafayette Square Monday, including U.S. Park Police and the U.S. Secret Service, is taking responsibility for firing tear gas or stinger balls on protesters. We said it before and we'll say it again. We watched police do it. Got it. We suffered the effects. Ah, ah. We picked up evidence. We are pressing for answers. Nathan Baca, WUSA 9.